Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we are looking at the Blood Claw. So AFK Inside put out a very, very cool guide. A lot of players have been asking, what are some alternate cops for the, the Blood Claw? Um, this is going to be a boss that is going to be permanent. That is right. He is moving over to the Twisted Realm as a boss there. He is going to replace Dark Arden, meaning that we are going to have to have some team comps in there. Um, you can see we've claimed all the rewards, but you want to do this every day, guys, because you do get some loot out of here. So the ideal team, I'm going to bring them up um, and we'll cover the, the actual guide over in a minute. But this is the comp. This is the comp that we've seen over on the test server. This is what we've seen and what we have used within this formation. Now looking here, guys, of course, we have the Awakened version of Brutus, we have Grez, we have the Twins, we have Helos, and we do have Mortis. Now, one of the triggers from this, guys, is the shielding effect. So Helos has a really, really big shielding effect, um, which kind of plays off to the SP effect of Brutus. You can also see you get all of these little cubes up here from he from Helos. I think it's they said Helos, not Helos, Helos. Um, buffing them up, making sure that we have the ability to do an incredible amount of damage in here. Twins go down pretty quick. I, I really feel like the RNG aspect in there is going to have to change up a little bit, but I'm gonna do the, the couple different team comps that again, we see over in the guide, and then I'm gonna show you the guide in itself. That way you can check it out. And look, he's just fighting. He lost his little, um, little obelisk right there. So 1.89 formation one, unfortunately didn't do as much in the session. Now, alternate to this. So we don't have he lost in this one. It puts in Mishka. Of course, Mishka is going to have that shielding ability again that we're going to go. And I want to run the couple different formations. So very similar. Mishka is a meta hero. Um, we do have him in or have her in quite a few different formations. Um, really, again, the, the survivability in here, you can see the shields that are up on heroes. But Mortis goes down pretty early. Twins go down pretty early. Seems like we need to strengthen the shields a considerable amount to keep these heroes alive because if you look there at the damage guys again less damage based on the team comp so 1.8 1.3 you'll see the best one i think i did down here was 2.68 i think this was the best and again this was with he lost the the original team that of course did the most damage now some other variations of this and again this is kind of why i want to try them out there's a few different ones this one has Brutus in here with Helos, which of course is going to be a really big shielding aspect in there. It has Hodgkin in here as a buffer. So of course he's going to be a really big buffer. We have Damon in here, and then we have Saurus. So very interesting lineup in here. Again, super dependent on the heroes that you have and the heroes that you have built. This is going to be a lot of shields in here. Damon has the shielding, of course. Brutus has um, his shielding. And it's an interesting combination. Again, doesn't look like the numbers are going to show. Um, even though the heroes are actually staying alive this time, I don't think the numbers are really going to show the damage factor in here. It, it doesn't seem like they scale or ramp up. And remember, guys, Soros is the boss killer. He has always kind of been the boss killing hero within here. Or within AFK Arena, um... Even there, 1.6, 2.68 is still our best attempt. And the final one that we look at, guys, does have Helos. It has, then it drops out, and we put in Grez in there, and then they put in Mishka. This is the final comp that we kind of see in here. Again, super dependent on the heroes you have um, to really make these, these team comps work. So now you have double shields. You have Helos shield, or Helos, and you do have... Um, Mishka shield in here. Damon has a shield. Grez, of course, puts up shields on random heroes. So this is kind of a very heavy shielding battle, um, allowing Brutus to really maximize the damage that's in there. This one seems decent. I, I mean, just kind of missing that damage factor that, that the twins can bring from these team comps. So 1-9, so still the very, very best team comp, of course, was our early one which had Helos in the bottom um we had the twins and then we did have Mortis in here this was the original comp this is actually the highest team comp that I have scored within here which again this was our very first one 
And I'm hoping that when the awakened version of Brutus comes up, and this is kind of one of my one of my concerns, and I know a lot of players have kind of shared the same concern, um, is are you going to be required or is it really going to be straight to meta for this team to have the awakened version of Brutus? I know here they do give us give him to us fully built, which is cool to see, but again, it's super expensive to build these awakened heroes. Um, if it is going to be a requirement, whales are going to be absolutely the top. Most of the time they are anyways, but it's going to be kind of a necessity to even get through this boss. If you're looking at having these heroes built out, essentially. Looking at our leaderboard, guys, I always like to look at the very, very top. Must be following the player, which is fine. We can go ahead and follow the player. But looking at the top, guys, again, this is the team comp that we do have. Of course, Elder Tree does play a big factor in here, as well as how well built or how highly built you have the heroes built. Um, individual rewards, unfortunately, right now I do not qualify for a frame. I would love to get a little bit more damage out of here. It would be building out a couple of these heroes much, much higher to get one of our... I, I love the... It's, it's almost like the mustache frame. Um, it's very, very cool to see. So let's go ahead, guys. We're going to hop over. We're going to check out the guide real quick, and we'll do that for the Dune Destroyer. And here it is, guys, for the Dune Destroyer round one from AFK Inside. Have some absolutely amazing AFK Arena content. So you can see here, guys, this is the primary team. This is team number one that we built within there. Um, this is our highest scoring team. So we have Brutus, we have Grez, we have the Twins, we have Helos, and then we do have um, Mortis in there. The variations include dropping out um, Helos because you don't have him or you don't have him built enough. He does require a considerable investment in popping Mishka in there, again, for that shielding aspect. Not so much the crowd control, but it is the shielding aspect that kind of plays into Brutus's SP effect, allowing him to really be successful within the campaign or, or within the um, stages. This one, Hodgkin is really a buffer within here. Um, crowd control, again, not really a big concern, but I was hoping that Soros would bring a little more. Um, it seems, unfortunately, at this point, he is phased out in team number three. Damon is in here, and then, of course, Helos is in here. And again, there he is. So if you're looking to score when this comes to the Twisted Realm, um, I'm under the assumption that Helos is going to be an absolute requirement within these formations. As you can see, three of the four formations do have him in there. Grez, you should already have built Awakened version of Brutus. Most players do not. And then Damon and Mishka, you should probably have both of them built as well, depending where you are within AFK Arena. Now, one thing you can see, um, Helos can actually be substituted with Silas which a lot of players might have built. Same with Mortis. Mortis can be substituted here with our copy of Saurus. Don't forget to use all five free battles every single day. That is right, five free battles every single day, guys. In order to increase damage, you can reset the Elder Tree. And this is the big one, big, big underline right here, guys. Minimum requirements for Halos to be useful, plus 30, nine of nine. The nine of nine furniture is absolutely huge on him. Same with the plus 30. Um, if you get some of the engraving, engraving does make a big difference as well if you have that plus 60 engraving because of the energy regeneration, um, but he is a very, very strong hero, and he has actually moved up the priority list of the builds. Um, over time, we, we've seen him getting a lot more utility, and I think that's really goes hand in hand with having more heroes that are built or, or having the opportunity to build him over time. Um, a lot of players have found a lot of benefit in him so guys, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, the Dune Destroyer round one. I wanted to go ahead and show you this. Um, most players score a lot higher when I cover this. Big shout out to AFK Inside for all of the content that they provide. This is actually over on Reddit. I'll put a link down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.